Welcome back to Melly Loves Death Metal. Happy Thursday. It is actually Thursday today. Yesterday I said it was Thursday when actually it was Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. Um, but I figured let's continue on with the High Roller Records reissues. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six to show off today. So it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. I'll try to breeze through them. These are all well-known albums. They don't need me to talk about the music or anything like that. Um, but... Some of the best albums in my collection, that's for sure. Uh, ones that I got fairly recently, uh, towards the end of last year, and then a while ago. Um, and then one new one pickup that I just got, like, three weeks ago from Heavy Metal Museum. Um, awesome Discogs channel, by the way. So I hope you guys are having a great week. Probably going to be the last... No, maybe not the last video. I might actually upload something tomorrow. It depends on what I'm getting in the mail today. So the mail is finally caught up and I have a bunch of new releases coming uh, that were pre-ordered. Uh, so a lot of the stuff got delayed due to the hurricane and I noticed that a bunch of stuff is out for delivery today. So uh, we'll see what it is. But I'm overdue for an underground death metal tape stack video. I've got tons of new stuff. So it is gorgeous in Florida today. It is in the 70s. Uh, it was 50 this morning, which is just amazing weather that we don't get very often. So my windows are open, so apologies if you hear loud-ass cars. People around here just don't know how to put mufflers on their cars. Um, <laughs> or they just have really loud cars. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So this one actually just turned 39 yesterday. Possessed seven churches. Uh, this is, again, a High Roller uh, Records reissue. Um, I don't remember what year this came out it might be on the jacket but it was a while ago maybe 2015 um so i got this back when it was really hard to find this album i think it's relatively easier now they've they've definitely reissued it a couple of times um just plain classic black there sounds amazing um i actually stumbled across a original pressing of this um I feel like it was a UK or something. I don't remember exactly. Uh, for pretty decent price a while ago. And I almost bought it, but I didn't. And now I regret it. So black flooding, glossy as hell, jacket, very nice thick jacket. It's not the Stoughton, like thick cardboard jacket like the other ones. But again, this is one of the earlier pressings. I think this was in 2014. Yeah, this came out in 2014. So this is like one of the first... Uh, high Roller Records reissues I ever bought. So I like the the Seven Churches that has like the embossing right here where it says Seven Churches in black, but obviously there's different variances of it. I don't remember which one is the OG and stuff like that. But again, I don't need to talk about this music. This is what I consider to be one of the greatest albums ever made. Um, and I spun it yesterday for the first time in a long time. I need to get some of their their newer album that came out not too long ago. Uh, that's probably the only one I don't own right now. Uh, but yeah. So this is a really nice reissue. I don't know if you can even find it anywhere. You might get lucky and find it on Discogs. I don't know. Um, as the same with every High Roller, earlier High Roller Records reissue, they have their catalog here on the inner sheet. You still get a lot of nice goodies with these High Roller Record reissues, even from, you know, over 10 years ago. A awesome poster surprisingly I never hung this and I don't know why because now that I see that I had it in here I think I'm going to hang that I want to frame it though I don't like hanging just posters directly to the wall I'm, I'm old now so I appreciate a good framed picture um and then a printed inner sleeve which obviously I'm not keeping the, the record in that with the lyrics and then a photo collage so I don't know how true this is to the original I don't I don't think it is but a really nice reissue I am pretty sure this is the first one I ever bought from High Roller. Uh, and I am probably spent a lot of money on it. I'm pretty sure I paid for the shipping and stuff because, again, back then I didn't care about vinyl costs or how much it costs to get into my collection because I was a fairly new vinyl collector. So I was just excited to have it on the format. So, Possessed. Uh, this is the newest one that I've gotten besides the Cloven Hoof, uh, new, well, that's not a reissue, so never mind. Um, but 
funny enough, I never had this on vinyl, and I talked about how I wanted to get pretty much all of Messiah's albums, but I finally got Extreme Cold Weather, and I absolutely love this album. Um, so I got this through Heavy Metal Museum on Discogs. He is probably my favorite seller. He's just got everything. Um, and he gets all the High Roller Records reissues in. Um, so I got this a couple months ago. And they've they've pretty much they've reissued pretty much all of Messiah's back catalog. So it's just classic black. That's the sticker. I have not even taken this out of the shrink yet. I've been having I have it in my stack back there of listening that I need to do. Uh, so there's the back, and then all of the goodies here. This is a poster of the band playing live, which I like look at that the cello um i forgot what the hell that the wand thing is for when you play the cello on the violin i'm blanking on it for right now but yeah awesome poster and then i think a couple other things i printed in her sheet here of lyrics and liner notes and that's it so that's a really cool reissue. This one is circulating everywhere. You can find this just about anywhere. Uh, Hell's Headbangers, Vinyl Commands, Heavy Metal Museum. NWN has gotten this several times uh, directly from High Roller. Uh, they pressed a lot of these, uh, several different variants as well. So this one is definitely not sold out. I think this came out last year. Did they press this last year? Uh, it doesn't say. Nope, this year, 2024. This is a 2024 reissue. So, yeah, there's a lot of those left. Okay, the next one is all from the same band that need absolutely no introduction. Uh, Jurgen actually did a whole entire video dedicated to this band. Uh, one of my, one of my, some of my favorite, like, death thrash, thrashy music to come out back in the um, 80s and, or late 80s and early 90s. Um, I am missing one of like the first several albums I realized today when I was pulling it I thought that I owned it and I do not so I'm not showing all of them here I don't really particularly care of their newer albums and who I'm talking about is Protector you guys know Protector um, so I have Gollum their first full length that came out in 1988 I love this album uh, and I love this reissue. Again, I've never been able to stumble upon any of the OG copies that are actually like within my price range or just in good condition whatsoever. So I settled on just getting these from High Roller for now. Nice, glossy, thick cardboard stock uh, jackets. FedEx is here, if you guys were wondering what that squealing is. And then a lots of case or sleeve candy. We've got the poster of what I'm assuming is, yeah, the album cover. The hype sticker just fell out on my foot. I forgot that I had it tucked away <laughs> in the, uh, the poster. Uh, printed inner sheet here with the photo collage and the lyrics. The High Roller Records printed inner sheet of all of their stuff that they've released. God, the font on that is so freaking tiny. There ain't no way I'm reading that. Um, and then... I'm pretty sure this is a colored, yeah, this is a colored vinyl. So I got these probably from Heavy Metal Museum. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've bought these. Um, so I just got what was available. I hate this. I absolutely hate this color, but whatever. Um, if I had the option of just getting the black, I would have just done that. But it is what it is. I got it for the music. I'm not a huge fan of the clear vinyl variants with the splatter. I just don't think that it they look that great so this is Gollum I love this album simply phenomenal band again I'm not too fond of their newer albums but I do really love their first like five albums and I realized I just did these out of order I should have did this one first one of the best EPs ever made misanthropy um Again, I've never been able to find these out in the wild, but my God, do I love this. I love this EP. I need to do like my all time favorite EPs 
videos. So the cool thing about this one is they did a really awesome thing here where they gave you the demos, um, Protector of Death and Apocalyptic Revolution, the two demos that were released. Um, and they put it on a, uh, a seven inch demo and put it in with this. So that was cool. I like that labels do something like this. I'm not a seven inch collector collector whatsoever. Obviously this is in the jacket still. I probably could just throw with my like 10 other seven inches. Um, but I do like that they added this additionally, not just directly onto the vinyl record itself. Um, so this is just a classic black. There you go. Uh, and that's it. Nothing else. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, nice little collector's item here. And then Again, all the same stuff, the album, uh, cover poster, the high roller records, uh, releases, inner sheets, the printed inner sheet of the photo collage, and the lyrics. Um, so you get a lot of extra goodies with this EP. And then the record itself, I was able to just get classic black for this. So I was happy about that. Again, some of these pressings don't have the best color variants. I don't know. I'm sure around the time of pressing them, that was probably just what was available. Uh, but yeah, classic black. So great AP. If you've never heard Protector, please stop listening to this video. Just click off the uh, the X there. Get off the tab of your browser or whatever you're, however you're watching this. Um, surprisingly, most of the people that watch my videos are on laptop desktops, which I was shocked about that. Um, anyway, and go listen to this stuff. Uh, it is classic, classic German death thrash, thrash. Most, some of the albums are more thrashy and some of the albums are more death metal-y, but they're definitely just a straightforward death thrash. Just amazing. This, this EP is so goddamn good though. So I did it out of order. I should have showed that one off first. Um, give me the hype sticker. Here's the hype sticker for Gollum. Gonna have to put that back in the, the jacket. All right. Next we have Earn the Mad. Where are you? Right here. Second full length, 1989. I love this album too. I um, think I like Gollum just slightly more, but if I had to rank them, but I still listen to this just as much. I love that album artwork. Again, glossy as hell. Um, and damn, I keep forgetting I put these in there. Hype sticker. <laughs> they keep falling out on me. Okay. Print it in your sheet with the collage. Down here it tells you what's also available on high roller. Really nice little Xerox, like A5 or whatever sizing that is. It looks like a zine. I like that they added that in. And then a poster of the album cover, which I'm not going to unfold because you guys have all seen it. And this one is also a color edition this one i actually don't mind the coloring on this i think it's pretty cool it's like a like a like a goldish you see that uh, with the white splatter i think that looks pretty cool stickers on the other side i actually just spun this yesterday when i was pulling this out to make the video i got an itch and i needed to scratch it so i listened to several of these albums yesterday um just iconic albums that happy I finally have on vinyl. Um, let me tuck away the hype sticker in here again for me to forget about next time I take it out. <laughs> I, re I rarely take anything out of the jacket. I don't usually look at like the lyrics of the inner sleeves. Once they're in the jacket, they're in the jacket. The only time I really ever take them out is when I first get the album and when I'm showing it off uh, on Instagram or YouTube or whatever else. But for the most part, this stuff usually just stays in the jacket. Um, that's why I keep the vinyl on the outside so I can just get easy access to it and not have to take it out of the protective sleeve and stuff. Okay. And then finally the last one for today, um, I don't have the heritage, uh, which is the 1993 album, but I do have a shedding of skin. Uh, I would like to get the heritage. I need to find it. I've seen it everywhere. I know several people have copies of it and maybe I'll get around to snagging it someday. But for now I have up until a shedding the skin, which came out in 91. This immediately is probably my favorite Protector album, which I think a lot of people say that, but it's also the first time I ever really heard them. Minus the EP. I would probably rank the EP the highest. Um, but yeah, I love this album. 
I think I got this from... I don't remember who I got this from. Still have the shrink wrap on it, though. I need to take it off. There's the hype sticker. The back. And then... This is a new one. I'm pretty sure they just reissued this this version anyway that I have this year. Yeah, it's a 427. Yep. High Ruler 427 is this year. Okay. So here's the little like zine A5 sheet here. Printed inner sheet with the collage. And then the back band promo photo. Of course, all of the protector albums. There is a box set that I'm seeing on here. The Apocalyptic Revelations 9 LP box set that High Roller put out or is going to put it out. I don't know. Um, I've never seen that. Is that what this is? Three, six, nine? No. Um, but if I ever do see that out in the wild, I will probably buy it. <laughs> uh, poster of this, and I am definitely going to hang this now. I love that album cover. So that's what you get inside the jacket. Pretty similar to all the other ones. Um, pretty standard across the board. All of these jackets also have the black flooding inside, which I love when labels do that. Just a little minor detail. It doesn't really matter, but it's always nice when you see that. And this, this color variant I really like. I thought this one looked awesome, too. I like that, like, that, like, minty green. There we go. With that splatter. So... I know if you are Jurgen or Roger, whoever's watching this video are probably going, what? Because I know you guys hate color vinyl, but it's the music that matters, goddammit. Chill out. <laughs> um, at least I have it on vinyl, you know? These are classic albums that should be owned, should be talked about. So yeah, that is the, some of the latest or high roller record reissues that I've had in my collection for a while now, or just one that I just got recently. Um, I do have several more Um I'll save it for another video uh, further down the road. Um, I got like three or four more. Uh, but I'm constantly looking and getting, like I said, I, I've been getting some of their newer releases too. Iron Flame, Cloven Hoof. I think I showed both of those off on here. Uh, but there's several other ones. Like again, the Heritage, if I see it when I'm doing an order somewhere, I'll probably just add it into the cart. Uh, they go for really great prices. So you, they can't be beat. High Roller Records is one of the best labels right now. Or just in general. So... That's all I have. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday and I'll see you in the next one.